Jesus, we consecrate this place to you as we stand today in your presence, under your eye, in your house that you have made with your hands. Father, breathe on the waters, breathe on the life, Father, that we have in us. And God, bring us up new today. Lord, let lives be changed. Let this be the moment in which bondages are broken and lives are changed and life is breathed into your children. In the name of Jesus. And the church said, Amen. 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 Welcome. The Bible says, take no thought for you what you're going to say, because in that hour, the Holy Spirit is going to give you the words that you should say. I want you to know, everybody that comes down here, we're going to give you a chance before you are baptized to profess what God is doing in your life and what this means to you. I'm going to ask you three questions. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that he died for you? And do you believe that he's coming again? And if you believe in those things, we're going to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And your life is going to be changed. Do you believe it? Amen. Amen. All right. So Rachel asked that she should go first so that she doesn't get all slipped up. So she, she said, let me cut line, Pastor. So I let her cut line. So Tom and Rachel, if you guys want to come forward. Woo! I won't take a picture until you guys get down there. You need help or you got it? Yeah, help them help out anyway. Don't care. Yeah. Absolutely. Get up here, bud. Legal purpose. Put your hands up. Um, my stuff is all right there if you want to put it like on my bag. Right here? Yeah. The white bag and the purse. My keys hurt me. It's going to be a little squishy. It's a lot squishy and it's really cold. Don't let him lie to you. It's a lot squishy. Follow the sound of my voice. No, I'm going to get these because if I walk over here, I'm going to get them mixed up with. So I'm going to move when you get out. If you fall, take them both down with you, Rachel. There we go. I have a tree. Hey, Jamie, I didn't know you were over here. Shut the front door. What? I can't hear you. So I shouldn't talk. Because they don't hear me right now. This is Tom and Rachel Vinceguera. Woo! They have been such a blessing to our church. Amen. I cannot tell you how amazing it has been to have them come and fellowship with us. Tom puts in work at the pantry. Woo! Let me tell you. And both of them are leading a small group, and they have shown with their lives that they have what it takes to follow in God's anointing. So, Tom, do you want to say anything before you're baptized? I just want to say that I'm grateful the Lord came and chased after me. Amen. 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 Thomas Vincent Guerra on the profession of your faith. Do you believe that Jesus Christ, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Let's start with that. Yeah. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe that he died for your sin? Do you believe that he is coming again for you? Absolutely. And upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo! Let me tell you. Not all anointings have to be loud, and Rachel has a kind of anointing. If you lean in to listen to this gal, she has got some wisdom to give you. Let me tell you Amen. something. <laughs> Rachel, do you want to say anything? Just real quick. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I was born again about seven years old, and so it's been a long, it's been a minute since I've been a Christian. I've been a Christian all my life. But, of course, there have been times when I wasn't leading anything that even resembled a Christian life whatsoever. And, um, this represents... Ebenezer. This is my Ebenezer. This is my... Woo! Woo! 
red flag because the Lord recently showed me that new life grows on old branches. Amen. Amen. And if there's not an old branch around here, I don't know where there is an <laughs> old branch. I think I'm probably the oldest getting baptized today. So, praise God, and I really am excited to see the new growth that he has for someone even at my age. Amen. You know, it's not even it's not even the old branch. It's just somebody tried to cut you down. <laughs> somebody tried to cut you down to the trunk, and yet even out of that trunk, another branch grew and another tree grew, and you have years of fruitfulness ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Do Amen. you believe in Jesus? Amen. Do you believe that he died for your sins? Amen. Do you believe that he's coming back for you? I do. That upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> people so just start heading start heading that way um come over here to my bag i think i have a diet green tea all right your shirt on game and you know she's got her on it's in there yeah you and lucas can do it Matt had the great idea some years ago. All through that stuff, it's rough. Which I can catch there. Yeah. And it was terrible. We've seen every baptized over here this year. Walked through. So Pastor David and Big Wiseman were like live sharing. Skinny beans. This is Christina Hess and her son Damon Hess, our Bible college guy, hey. who has remained saved in, in spite of all the Bible colleges, you know, to Amen. Just kidding. Christina, do you want to say? Do you want to say anything before we baptize you? She doesn't want to say anything. Let me just tell you, the Bible says there are some that are plucked like a brand from the fire. And there's a whole lot of people here, Christina included, who the enemy has tried to destroy them time and time again. And when she stands in this water, she stands as a trophy of grace that the enemy hasn't won because the enemy can't win. Because she is still standing on the grace that God has given her. And we're going to baptize them in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you believe that he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he's coming back for you? Yes, I do. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
they going it's better in the water than it is out. I'm not telling you to get baptized. It's just better in. Jason, you get baptized? I'm gonna push you under the water though. Does he need to be? Um, yeah, yeah. I think he'd be. <laughs> Listen, we're taking her on Sammy's word because Sammy's an awesome person who Amen. hugs everybody in our church. And there is nothing more beautiful than your family coming down with you in a moment of decision saying, we stand with you. Because listen, a lot of you guys got families that never believe you change no matter what you do. Amen? How much nicer would it be to have a family member who says, you know what, I'm going to walk with you in your new life. Amen? Amen. My sister drove down. We drove down here last night from Channing, Michigan. Yes. She watches up north. Amen. Nice. Part of our northern family. Woo. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hair's different. <laughs> last time I saw her, her hair was different. Do you believe in Jesus, Susan? Yes, I do. Do you believe that he died for your sins? Yes, I do. Do you believe that he's coming again for you? And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Right? Right? The Ghost, doesn't it? Ask Debbie if she's going in a certain line. She's got to put you in. But when it's sitting up like that, I can't, like, if it was brown. Like, Jimmy, Jimmy's going to go and... Tanya, Haley, and Robert. Tanya, Haley, and Robert. How are you doing? So if you walk around that way, first time, it'll be a little bit better. Oh, bare feet. Yeah, it's squishy. Yeah, I'm going to recommend it barefoot. You did it on the fly. It's a lot more solid right about there. I'm going to walk around my house here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not saying you can't do it. Because I know a lot of people fish here and I don't know what all of them are You're Haley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially with Bray. Bray's going to touch on me. And if your mask comes off, it's over here with her. We're going to baptize them first, and that's going to be baptized the kids. Yeah, the only way you would actually Okay. I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's going to be clean. Hi. All right. All right. Yeah. Somebody hold Robert's hand so yeah. yeah. All right. Listen, I like this gal because she gets me egg mc she gets me egg McMuffins and chicken hey. nuggets. <laughs> and coffee. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but sometimes you go through a drive thru and you're like, that person's gonna be at my church someday. And I don't know how we ever worked that out, but her and her mom both come Amen. and help us out at the church and the pantry and every time I see them it makes me smile. I just it just makes me happy. Right? Where's is Barbara here? She's my other McDonald's crew. Wherever Woo. she's at. Oh she's okay, she's not back there. Alright. Vicky, do you want to say anything first? Oh, Tanya. 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 <laughs> Vicky is Tanya's mom. This is Tanya. And, and Haley and Robert. Haley and Robert, I got right. Tanya and Vicky, I was mixed up. 
All right, you want to say anything? No. Okay. You believe in Jesus, Tanya? Yes. You believe he died for your sins? Yes. You believe he's coming again for you? Yes. All right. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, ready, Robert? Woo! You're wet. It's fun. Okay, ready? You just be a second. You got this, Robert. It's all okay. right. Do you believe in Jesus, Robert? Yeah. Do you believe Jesus saved you? Yeah. And do you believe he's coming again for you? Yeah. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hey, there's nothing better than a kid giggling when you're baptizing him. I'm sorry. That's probably the best. I'm going on camera. All right. Hey, do you want to say anything before baptizing? No. Okay. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe that he saved you? Yes. And do you believe he's coming again for you? Yes. Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. She said you got this man. We were talking about Ebenezer's today, so everybody we're baptizing, I'm taking a stone from the place they were baptized at so they could take that back and say, this is from the spot where God changed my life. And every time you look at your old life, look at that stone and say, I made a decision and I made a promise and I'm not turning back in the name of Jesus. Amen. A nice rock. Are you next, Samantha? Grab her hand, baby. I know. You guys want to scoot over this way, Sam? Yeah. We're going to come this way, Sam. Alright. Thank you, Teresa. I tried to come in where it's a little shallower, Sam. It's not the worst thing. Alright, Dr. Sam. All right, church, we're going to do two things here. One, we're going to baptize mom, and then two, we're going to dedicate these kids. Amen. Now, understand what we do as a church when we dedicate kids. We don't just pour water on them. We make a covenant and a commitment with this family that we as a church are going to support her raising her kids in their faith journey. If you find it, just chuck it at us. Uh, Tom, will. Tom will get the shoe, Sam. Tom will get the shoe. Okay. Hey, just throw the other one at us, too. Hey, you're spooked! Tom's got it. You're spooked. You're spooked. Right about where your right foot is, Tom. Right about here? Right about there is where it should be. I'm not going to reach my hand there. Oh, it's oh, right next to it. It's floating now. Mom's going to get baptized, and then we're going to get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Just throw them up here. Okay. Good, good call. Good call. <laughs> Something's touching my legs. <laughs> okay. We're going to get it. In Deuteronomy it says, Behold, O dear O Israel, your Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Bind these words on your heart. Speak these words over your children. Sam, we have Jackson and we have Ethan. You pledge before this body in this spot that you are going to raise these children in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord, that you are all the days of their life and appoint them to Jesus in your actions, in your words, and in your attitudes. And church, you see before you Sam and Jackson and Ethan, do you pledge as a church to help them, raise, to help her raise them in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord? Do you as a church promise to be in front of her children an example of the grace and forgiveness that God has given you? If you will, as a church, respond with, I will. I will. I will. I will. 
then I dedicate you both in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He's like, he's like Pastor Ron, my pastor. All right. Now we're going to baptize. You know, get here. We'll just go to Curtis. I'm going to go into water. Okay, buddy. Sam, do you want to say anything? Let me tell you, Dr. Sam has been an absolute inspiration to everybody she's been around, not just in how she sings and does announcements and brings the word, but her life and her attitude. And let me tell you something, when Jesus told Peter, the enemy has sought to sift you like wheat, the enemy has tried to sift her like wheat, but Jesus himself has stood in her spot and made intercession for her so that she can stand in this place today as a trophy of God's protective grace around her life. Sam, do you believe in Jesus? And do you believe that he died for your sins? And do you believe his baptism is for you? And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I baptize you. We found half a cinder block. We haven't figured out whose stone that's going to be yet. What are you singing?
see if I can do this right. We got Matthew, I call him KC. His name, yeah, they call him Lincoln. I just remember his middle name is KC and I always just like that. So we got Matthew, KC, Maggie, and Arrow. And yes, two of them are named after Kansas City Chief things. Okay. And we're gonna dedicate them today in the sight of the Lord. So Alanda and Darren. Yep. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Bind these words on your heart. Speak these words over your children. Do you and Alanda pledge to raise these children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord and be an example to them of the grace and forgiveness that God has brought into your life? In church, do you agree as a church that you are going to help these parents to raise these children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord in a world that will seek to tear them apart and tear them away? We know that we are sending them out like sheep among wolves. Are you going to be the church that will pray for them, intercede for them, and watch over these children? If you will, say, I will. I will. I will. But upon your profession, I christen you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. All right. We're going to baptize Matthew here in a second. I'm going to open. I know this cold. It's going to be cold to baptize. It's cold. 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 It's and do you believe he died for your sin? And do you believe he's coming again for you? Then upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo! Go, Matthew! You want to say anything? I say anything. Alanda, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that he died for your sins and for your healing? Yes. Of your family and of your soul? Yep. Do you believe he's coming back for you? Yes. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
Jason. Yeah, how you doing? I know what I'm asking you. <laughs> how big? Yeah. Alright, Jason's finding me a cup. I'm making him a cup. Hey, dump no, out. I literally hate it. Hey. Okay. I was going to say, you can dump out my keys. Grab it with your toes. Grab it with your toes. Cup off <laughs> he wants a cup to rock. You got enough ladies here with big purses that we're going to find what you need. Come on, here. guys. Drink that. Top off. <laughs> <laughs> This is Angela, Elijah, and Noah. I have talked to Angela about a Brazilian times. Finally got her to come to our church, and as soon as she does, we dunk her in the river. Woo! Kind of people we are. <laughs> but she's got a sweet spirit and has been just a great inspiration for all of us. Do you want to say anything? I'm thankful to be here. Amen. 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 Angela, do you believe in Jesus? I do. Do you yes. believe that he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he's coming again for you? Yes. Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Woo! She's going to help us baptize. We're going to go in order here, bud. We're going to baptize her kids, Noah first, and then Elijah. Elijah, come a little bit forward. There we go. Noah, no, come in. Come in. Come in. You want to say anything? Noah, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for your sin? Do you believe he's coming again for you? And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Woo! Woo! Okay. Woo! <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. God's going to change your life. <laughs> all right, Elijah. Do you want to say anything? Yes. What do you want to say? Amen. He says he's thankful for Jesus and thankful for today. Amen. Amen. believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for your sin? Do you believe he's coming again for you? That upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. And the Holy Ghost. Woo! 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 Hey, yeah, all right. Hey, hold with your toes. Hold with your toes. Thank you. Hey, we got cups. I think we got it. Joy is awesome. We got somebody that can't get in the water, so we're bringing the water to her. Oh my God! Enjoying my shoe. Give me your hand. This is Angela's mom and Noah and Elijah's grandma. Thank you again. Come on, Elijah. I believe in you, bud. I can't find my shoe. Leave the shoe. Go. together. Amen? Amen. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Woo! Hey, you found the shoe! Alright! Hey, Who's the sale? Tanner. 
Wasn't asked. <laughs> hey, someone hold Jamie's phone so she can keep streaming. <laughs> That's funny. Let's give Jamie a hand. Woo! Woo! Jamie, you got stuff in your back pocket. <laughs> other side too, over here. Other side too, Jamie. Paper. Jamie, other side. It's just a piece of paper. It's just the announcement. Okay. Yeah, yeah your pocket's empty? Yeah. Maybe the announcement will float down the river and somebody will find our church. Yes. You do. Amen. She's grateful that God left the 99 for the one. Let me tell you, this girl has an amazing story. You got to sit down and let her tell you someday. And she puts up with Jason. Amen. So you know she has the spirit of God inside of her. I love Jason and in the same he do, yeah. But more than that, God's got a call not on her life and not just on Jason's life, but he has a call for the two of them together. Amen. 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 Destiny is in the choosing, and today we choose to follow Jesus. Amen. Woo! Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for your sins? Do you believe he's coming back for you? And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. This is Tanner. Hey! Or as we like to call him, slightly shorter. He's out growing, man. He's growing in the Lord. He's growing in the Spirit. He got to come and hang out with me one day to see what I do at my job, which is really just drive around to the Corvette and eat fast food. But it was a good day. Amen? You want to say anything? All right. Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for you? Do you believe he's coming again for you? Then upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie wants to say something real quick. <laughs> um, I just want y'all to know that, like, if you think that pulling somebody into your life is hard work, it is. If you think that discipleship isn't really a thing, it really is. It's the difference between watching them turn around and take a U-turn and go the other way, go back to where they started and today and where they're headed but it's not an easy thing because you got to stick with it whether it's hard or not whether it causes you grief or not but we joke about how amber's kind of like my sister until last summer i'm like oh no i'm her mama <laughs> there's only nine years between us but there were times where i felt the grief of a mom but that's what discipleship looks like so just keep at it <laughs>
Let's go, Jimmy! Oh, Wanna give me a hug? Ever? Huh? Oh, yeah. give me a hug? Oh yes. I Thank you. Say something to your mom right here. I, I Let me tell you something leave. about Jimmy. When you come in this water, there's a spot right there where it gets a little uncertain for a second. And you watch everybody kind of checks their footing, and just for a moment, it feels murky. And then all of a sudden, you find the rock underneath your feet, and you can move forward. And I know there have been some times in Jimmy's life where it felt a little murky and he couldn't find his footing and he didn't know if the Lord was going to come through. But God has come through for him time and again. And I believe God is coming through for you in the future. That this is a moment that you will remember forever, a turning point in your life that he is going to put inside of you an anointing that the enemy cannot stuff out, cannot steal, cannot take away. You want to say anything? I just want to say I'm thankful to the Lord. This beautiful woman here came back into my life when they did in my time of need. Amen. I may not be here today if it wasn't for those two. Amen. And if you don't ever think your testimony is going to reach somebody else, your testimony will always reach someone, even when you don't even know. He called me for a painting quote, and here we are right now. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Let me tell you, I asked you guys who you're bringing to the river. She said, I'll grab a couple. Hey, Amen. Jimmy, do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he's coming back for you? Yes. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son. Woo! <laughs> 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 This is Angela and Giovanni. 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 We got you, man. I spelled it wrong, too. That's how I know. Yeah. Giovanni. All right, it might be this, Giovanni. I probably called him Giovanni like a hundred times. He's like to be rude. There's no judgment. That just shows you what a great spirit this kid has. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. This family's been through it. Hope, where are you at? He's back there. Hope. This is your prayers answered right here. Amen. This is proof that God listens to your heart. Yep. Amen. Amen. She's the grandmother of the family. She's kind of the matriarch up there, her and her husband. How long were you guys married? Like a million years? 54 years. 54 years. Woo! Woo! Let me tell you, in a world where things don't last anymore, they stuck with it, and their spirit has been passed down the generations, and now we're back. Is he your great-grandson? Yes. Amen. Wow, great, now she gets to see her great grandchildren bear. How uh, baptized? How great of a blessing is that? Angela, do you want to say anything? Angela, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe He died for your sins? Do you believe He died for you. 
and do you believe he's coming back for you? Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Woo! Giovanni, Giovanni. <laughs> you got that. Let me tell you something. I love this kid so much, man. Amen. You see that smile? That's a smile the enemy doesn't want to see. And I bet you every time the enemy sees that smile, he's like, I'm just not getting to that kid. He's too happy. <laughs> and Giovanni, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You want to say anything? Giovanni, do you believe in Jesus? And you believe he died for your sins? And you believe he's coming back for you? All right, then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> 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 everybody to get in the river and help me get them back up. Hey. <laughs> can't tell you how much I love Rena. I can't tell you how much I love Darren and Alanda and their family and what a blessing they have been. Nope. Listen, they give you something to do on those days where you're sitting around wondering what should I be doing. <laughs> I need my purse. Jamie, your phone died. Oh, seriously? Rena says she is thankful for this church and what they've done for her family. Do you want to say something, Darren? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Darren. Hey! Hi, Darren. Um, I didn't want to get in today. I'm fighting the Lord telling me to get in. I'm not getting in because my wife told me to. And I'm not getting in because my wife told me not to. And I'm not getting in because I want to. I'm getting in because God told me to. Obedience. I did this three years ago, and I don't think I did it because I was ready. I think I did it because my wife told me to. <laughs> and I've been places and I've done things that I don't want to do anymore. Yes. And this is where I make my stand. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Obedience, man. Obedience. Nice. You all right? Don't pass out. He didn't know I was coming either. <laughs> Matthew Darren O'Hall, do you believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe he died for your sins? I do. Do you for your healing? I do. Do you believe he's coming back for you? I do. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Out my core. Hey. 
My son Tristan are kindred spirits, and if they get a whole lot of machines and pile them up in their driveways, <laughs> yes, we do. And, and then I, I move them to your driveway. Yes, and then he moves into my driveway along with Samantha's husband, Randy. If you're back there, I see you. But let me tell you, Mike and Tammy and Brandy, that's a family that God brought together. No one saw it working out. I bet they. I bet the enemy put some money down against you, and you know what? He's got to pay up. Amen. Because Amen. God has got a hold of their life and their family and is doing amazing things with them. And we are so proud of them and their family. You want to say anything? He loves to have big speeches, so we're going to get yeah. <laughs> Mike, do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Do you believe he's coming back for you? Yes. And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Brandy sits on the front row. Some weeks I come to church just to see what crazy colors she's got on. Yes. <laughs> she's got a bright spirit. She's got a great heart. And she's got day number 115. Life has always kind of been rough for the most part. Um, when I was 13, I had a calling to become a minister. And then shortly after that, drugs was introduced to my life, and I ran for it for 20 years. It wasn't until February when God brought me to my knees because of these drugs that I am here today with God's help. God has brought me through the fire, and here I am redeemed. Amen. 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 <laughs> Brandy, do you believe in Jesus? I do. And you believe he died for your sins? I absolutely And do. for your healing? Yes. And for your freedom? Yes. And for your calling? Yes. And do you believe he's coming back for you? I do. That upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. <laughs> there you go. There it goes, Brandy. There goes the old you. Come on. <laughs>
Did you empty your pockets, Jacob? Jacob, do you got anything in your pockets? Uh, no, thank God. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> get it! Hey, can you do that again? I didn't get a picture. It's on live stream. Okay. My temperature is too hot to use my camera. What? Anybody know this guy? Woo! This is Matt Wagner. He's our guitarist. He is our resident pilot. He is also a smart aleck, which we like that about him. Because it fits in. When, you know, he understands that our church sarcasm is a spiritual gift. Amen. Amen. He's been a great inspiration to us up on the platform and at men's ministries. You want to say something? So, uh, 18 years ago, almost to the week, is when I got to meet Jesus face to face. And it wasn't an easy meeting, by the way. There's some people that are like, oh, this is great. I'm going to come meet the Lord. No. There's some people that have to get whacked across the face of the two-by-four. I am that guy. <laughs> but Jesus came into my life, and I gave my life over to him on September 5th of 2005. And at that point, I got baptized at some point afterwards. Today, for me, I stand here to say that 18 years ago, that was the best choice that I ever made. Amen. And he came into my life because without him, Teresa and I would not be married. Yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> Without him, my two sons here would not be who they are today. And so, everything about my life, I give thanks to him. 100%. And there's times that I still fight, even 18 years later. We'll duke it out sometimes, kind of like Jacob wrestled with God. And uh, not this one, but he does too. Uh, but God comes out of the end. It hasn't been an easy route, not always. But he's always been there holding my hand and dragging me sometimes when I need to be dragged. Okay. So today, after 18 years, I'm rededicated and saying, yep, it was the right choice. And I'm following on, continuing on. Praise God. <laughs> Listen, it is a blessing when a man of God brings his whole family to the river with him. Yes. Amen. Woo! Amen. Matthew, do you believe that do you believe in Jesus? Yes. And do you believe he died for you? Yep. And do you believe he died for your calling? Yes. And do you believe he's coming back for you? Can't be soon enough. Amen. <laughs> and upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Austin grow. I have watched Austin. We've had our well, we've had our struggles. <laughs> and again, God in our lives. The love chapter, patience, forbearing. All that chapter is what kept us going and kept me going with Austin. And for me, when we sat there what a month ago, he said, Hey, we're gonna go get baptized. And Austin turns around and go, Yep. I couldn't have been a better day in my life. Amen. Yep. We'll commit. There you go. I like it. Amen. We'll send. So, Austin, I know it's like to be your age and have parents, but I want you to know something. They have an anointing that's going to transfer to you, and there's going to be a day when you look back and you're going to be so proud that these were the ones that transferred their anointing that raised you the way. And listen, I know it's not always easy. Parents are crazy, right? Yep. <laughs> but you're going to love that you have these. You like the rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Okay, this is an answer to prayer. Amen. Because I prayed and asked God, everyone always says they want their kids to be happy. My prayer for my boys would be that they would be men of God. Yeah. They didn't care about anything else, but that they would be men of God. Amen. And now, this is the conclusion of both of them taking that step and professing their faith to Jesus Christ. And that means everything to me as a mom. If Woo. God came back today, everything would be good. Amen. Amen. Woo. 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 Woo.
question, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for your sins? Do you believe he's coming back for you? And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. to go dunk myself. Jesus, do you believe he died for your sins? Do you believe he died for your freedom? Do you believe he's coming back for you? Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Alright. What does this mean to you, man? Tell me. With my family back together and functioning at least that 75%. We're, we're, we're doing everything we can do. And you know what? We're doing it by faith that this is going to be 100% one day. Amen. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Patrick, do you believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe he died for your sins? I do. Do you believe he's coming back for you? Yes, sir. Do you believe he's coming back for your family? Amen. Then upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Don't call him grandpa, he gets mad. <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys have had a chance to meet Josh. He's taught in our small groups. He's been around our church, but I'm telling you something. God is working in his family. He is working miracles to bring his family back from all the corners so that it can be restored again. Josh has an anointing on his life, and the enemy has been on him because of that anointing. But here he stands. Hallelujah. In the river where God has Woo! placed him because God can keep him under that day. Hallelujah. You want to say something, Josh? Usually, I'm a, I, uh, for those of you that know me, I, I always have something to say. <laughs> um, well, Josh, I, uh, praise God. God leading me to uh, to be one to you, um, and you be one family um, to Pastor uh, David. And um, man, my heart is just wrecked just to be able to desire to want to be baptized, <laughs> holding nothing back. Right? Amen. You'll just come to this place where you just you don't want to hold anything back from God. You don't want to hold anything back from Jesus. It doesn't matter what's in front of your way. It doesn't matter what's hindering you. It just doesn't matter. You just want to give your life to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the presence of your family, and the presence of your wife, and the presence of your grandbabies, and the presence of your church, and more importantly, in the presence of your Heavenly Father. Amen. In the presence of Jesus. Amen. Josh, do you believe in Jesus? Uh, yes. Do you believe he died for you? Yes. And for your calling? And for your family? Yes. And you believe he's coming back for you? Yes. Then upon your profession of faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Listen, I don't know what kind of genes they got going on in his family, but his kids are adorable. <laughs> like, seriously, just, just you could put them on a poster, right? Chance, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe he died for your sins? And do you believe he's coming back for you? And upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Jesus, seal unto the day all the commitments, all the words spoken, all the oaths taken, all the change hung on to, all the hopes, all the dreams, all the healing, God, that is in this river, Father, the anointing that you have placed on the lives of those who today have made a public profession of you. God, seal them unto that day. Lord, let this be a moment of change. Father, let the words ring in their ears. You are my child, and my hand is on you, and my voice is in your ear, and you are on my heart. God, let us be a church that upholds them, Father, in the good and the bad and the pretty and in the ugly. Father, that we're the church that stands by them and leads them so that we stand before you. We stand before you not only as ourselves, but as a church that did your will. We'll give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. The church said, Amen. We've got one more, Pastor. we got one more. Oh, oh.
Yeah, but I promise you the water's not taller than you. <laughs> this is Bev, everybody! Right, Bev! Woo! Bev! Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they're working. <laughs> Bev is the only person getting baptized in a nicer shirt than mine. <laughs> Thank you. We're not ready. Everybody out of the river I put in there, right? Uh, there's, nobody, there's nobody still in the river that I baptized floating around anywhere. Everybody's gone in to come back. Let me tell you, when I said today that there were only a few people that I've done funerals for where I really knew it and it really hit me and it really hurt, her husband Fred was one of them. <laughs> when I first came here, I know it was Kurt and Wendy were probably the first people when I came here to call me pastor. I think, Mona, it took you a little bit. Right? Uh, Mona and I, Mona, oh, just so many. But her and Fred were the first ones to welcome me into a church as a pastor. Amen. And to make me feel like I had reached the place where God had called me to be. And that wherever they journey in life, I was meant to walk beside them. And even though we have taken her, her husband to his eternal home, Bev is still here because God has people in this place that her heart touches. And whether she sees it or not, God has such an anointing on her that other people know him because of the life that she leads. Yeah, Bev! Bev. I don't know. <laughs> Bev, do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. And do you believe he's coming back for you? Amen. Then yes. upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I said the little kids giggling was the best thing. <laughs> this is pretty close. This is pretty close. Here's the end. Here's the end. Of course, I'm on the side with the rocks. So. Church, 
find somebody who got baptized today and tell them how much you love them. Woo!